I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of type two fun, but this is very much a type two fun career. My name is Luke Stafford. I'm lead structure test engineer here. I lead a team of, of engineers and technicians that perform all sorts of structural testing for the Alpha program, Eclipse, Blue Ghost, and everything else that we build here. Half a day. Uh, my name is Marcus Mangalonia. I'm an EGSC technician here at Firefly. I do all the electrical and data and control systems here for our test stands. I'm Matt Turner, I'm a fluids engineer on the ground support equipment team at Firefly. I design and build fluid infrastructure for test and launch. So this is Test Stand 6. Out here we do lots of testing for the Eclipse program. That includes the composites manufacturing barrels that you see and all sorts of uh, ground support equipment that's going to end up at the launch site eventually. So yeah, what makes TS6 unique is it's big and powerful. Everything out here was built robust and heavy because it has to handle the loads of huge launch vehicle that we're trying to create. Getting into like the capabilities of what it can do, I think the shining star is how hard it can push on stuff, which is about 2.8 million pounds. It's about 10 or so engine, like train engines, uh, which is pretty exciting. The fluid systems we have at TS6 are a water system, a liquid nitrogen system, a gaseous nitrogen system, and a gaseous helium system. The numbers that you're working with in your analysis and design just like start leaving a physical approximation of it. You know, if you're doing flow rates for another stand, it could be you know 10 gallons a minute. That's easy to understand. But whenever you're doing 2,000 gallons a minute, or if you're doing a drain and it's six to 10,000 gallons a minute, it's like hard like keep track of what that means. So engine bay is the aft structural segment for Eclipse, and it features seven separate individual engine bays within it that we colloquially name engine bay, right? Each bay has three separate hydraulic cylinders in there for the test. You need one for the engine and then two for the TVC actuators, right? So along with that, you also need the big actuators on the outside to counteract the load from the engines, right? So in total, you end up with about 35 individually controlled actuators that we had to design our system to, to be able to do, which was a super exciting, challenging project. The main part that we'll take care of is making sure that all our strain gauges are working, that they're all functional. If there's any repairs that we need to do before the test is actually gonna be conducted, we'll yep. come out here and make those repairs and get that done. So a strain gauge is a small sensor that takes micro measurements of different strains in different axes to see where the most strain is actually coming from. And it kind of dials in and also gives our engineers a little bit more data on where the weak points are on this article. So I've been here about two years now and when I first came here, this was just nothing but dirt and actually being able to see it turn from concrete slab to an actual full-size tower and being able to test these articles was pretty amazing. TS6 was built in phases, um, depending on the test article that was coming out. So we would make sure that the test stand is always ready to accept an article, no matter what. Whenever I started on this project in 2023, this was a field, just, just a blank field, no concrete, no gravel, nothing at all. And within about a year and a half, we have what we have now. Yeah, I was over here at the sidelines, like cheering everyone on and um, coming from TS4 where I did a lot more of the design and the construction, like my actual self, getting to advise those guys who were building this place and say, yeah, these are the pitfalls I saw over there. Try to maybe do it this way over here. And the speed at which our world-class GSE team was able to put all that stuff together with just a little nudge here and there for me was insane. It was really cool. Yeah, it's. It's an intense process going through. You're, you're juggling so many balls, trying to make sure that nothing gets forgotten while you're, while you're carrying through all this work. It ends up being really re rewarding at the end, especially seeing a test article come on. You know, while you have all the structures built and you have the fluid systems in place, it, you really get a great sense of like reward seeing the test article getting put on, especially running it through its paces and you know, actually ac actively testing. I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of type two fun, but this is very much a type two fun career. Um, 
you know, things are hard. It's difficult problems that require a lot of mental gymnastics to get through. There's a lot of pressure there, but you don't really feel it, right? It feels more like you're taking huge strides to get somewhere that nobody else has ever been. It's gonna win. You're still gonna win. <laughs> Yeah, I think being able to shake hands with Tess and having them bring out their Tess articles and we can start getting clips ready to launch is, you know, it's a great feeling. Um, we're getting closer and closer to our milestones and it's going to be a great thing for Firefly.